Hello guys, I'm Jitendra Jurasia. Welcome you to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you design an academic presentation in just PowerPoint. So let me just show you the template that we're going to discuss today. So for example, you have a title page in starting, then you have introduction. And what I mean to say with the template is that how you can create this pre-built fields here. Okay, these are called fields. So for example, you have introduction and even this comes by default. So let's say uh, your uh, paragraph your paragraph one and in the similar way let me just copy paste to save the time paragraph two and like this you can have uh, as many as uh, you you want for introduction and then second you have literature review and again the same thing uh, let's say i'll write in short uh, survey one and survey two like that you can write uh, anything let's come to the experimental procedure so let's say you want to write a text uh, the experiments were performed somewhere okay so you can write the name here uh, let me just correct the spelling of somewhere and uh, let's say you want to show the process parameter at what uh, on, on which experiments were conducted so what you can just quickly do is uh, you can click insert table and let's say you want five columns or anything any any combination that you're looking for you can just click it okay and then you can say let's say let's say uh, parameter one parameter two and then you can add up a value let's for say 12 10 or anything fine anything fine and then you can keep on adding uh, as many as you want in a similar way let's say you come to the result and discussion and uh, you want to show uh, uh, the images uh, after the experimentation experimentation and characterization okay so you want to add this uh, this is a grid of uh, 3 into 2 image so you can just directly click here uh, let me just bring to the resource folder so I have a couple of images here to put so you can put directly so your first image second image third image so like that with this you can really fast forward your work uh, just simply and let's say tomorrow you want to change these images you can just quickly delete and uh, you can put up some any other image and in a similar way let's say you want to write uh, some text also that you can do very easily so for example a b c d i uh, like that you can just type in or if you want any text uh, let's say spring okay so you can just type in spring and the best part here is you can in fact select the uh, all the images include text and you can save this as a picture so that you can paste it in a word document also so this is how uh, this is what uh, the concerns of today's tutorial that how you can create this kind of template and other than that you can say you have a college logo which is a, a some random name that i have taken and uh, the another important aspect that we are going to look today is uh, how to uh, design the entire thing okay how to bring the dates here uh, these dates or keep on changes automatically and the slide number also changes and this is the title of the presentation that you're going to give and finally you have references some more results that you can add any text or anything or any picture you want to add that you can easily do and the final is your thank you slide so uh, that's what you are going to do today uh, this will really help you if you're a student or in fact if you are in corporate also you can just uh, uh, manipulate the slides in that way to uh, suit your requirements so let me just take a new document and i'll show you how you can create uh, such template the very first thing that i want to uh, discuss here is uh, how you can uh, how you can choose the color for presentation i usually choose the color of the presentation based on the institute or the company's logo or the organization logo so you can see the uh, the company logo or the institution logo which is the national business school for today is uh, something like a red color so uh, i that that is the reason that i have uh, choose a red color here so let me just come to come up to this and uh, so these template these are nothing called slide masters okay in in a in a powerpoint uh, language it's, these are called creating masters slide masters or under the slide master we are creating different layouts okay so these are called layouts also so for example you want to change this layout you can just right click and you can click layout and you can choose uh, different layouts which are available here so you can see uh, the, the various layouts that i have created okay 
so this is what we are going to start from the scratch so we have a title slide here and you can take a new slide but we, we are not getting uh, something like that so let's just create it so to start that you need to come to view option here on the top and there you can see an option called slide master so come up to that so now the first slide is your title slide and the second is the the layout that you're going to make so first of all fix a font okay so this font uh, you have to choose uh, according to the organization some organization uh, they fix the font okay some organization says uh, that you have to choose only the times new roman font and somewhere you have liberty but i i like to use uh, mostly either arial font so i'll select all okay i'll just click on here and press ctrl a to select everything and i'll come to the home option and i type in here arial so everything changes accordingly so first thing is uh, there is a lot of margin is going waste here okay both the ends here and here so what i'm going to do is i'll press shift and select both of these text boxes and now i'll press ctrl on the keyboard and stretch it so with this what happened you are stretching on both the sides so leave it like this now this is too big font okay i don't like this much big font so i'll just reduce the font size to somewhere around 36 that um, that looks fine and i want to reduce this because i just want to increase the size here okay so i'll just pick it up and somewhere here i will just bring in that's fine now similar way i will drag this text box here and now it's time to bring our logo okay so logo can be anything so i'll just come to insert picture this device and i think i have a logo here yeah this is the national business school logo i really don't know this school exists i just created a name just for the tutorial purpose of tutorial so i'll just place it something like this and uh, let me just come to home and uh, you have a drawing tab here and i'll draw a draw line so i'll draw a line something like this from here to here and i'll drag the line somewhere here and coming up to the shape outline as i mentioned how i choose the color i'll choose the color based on the logo so i'll come to eyedropper and i choose the same color and i'll increase the width thickness to somewhere around one or to one quarter point okay couple of things that you should keep in mind is you can see there's a lot of space in between c and uh, the boundary of this text box so what you can do select the two right click format object and the text option you will come to the last option text box and make sure that left margin is set to zero so with this what happens the c starts exactly from the line okay and i think you can apply this to this also so it should go to exactly left and this one should go right zero so that's that's pretty much fine now i'll keep this here and i'll keep this uh slide number on this side okay this hash represents slide number this is the date and this is the footer so definitely date is never going to be that big so i'll reduce its size and similar way slide numbers are never going to be too high so i'll keep it somewhere here and the same time i will increase the footer so again i'll press control so that i can equally stretch in both the directions so here we go okay so i'll just keep the text box somewhere here yeah uh, i'll keep the i'll stretch the line to somewhere to the, uh, uh, until it matches the boundary of this text box and now let me just uh, again come to home option and i'll draw a rectangle here a rectangle and i'll just place it over here somewhere around here and uh, come to shape fill and now you can have an option recent colors because we use that red color recently and i'll make that outline to no outline and i'll send it to back so that my text is visible now and since it's a red color i will most likely choose either red or white so that so let's see which looks better so white is also fine i think white looks much better on this so i'll just change it to bold and using the um, using the keys on keyboard arrow keys i will just bring it down so that it looks centered yeah that looks fine to me and with that i will uh, come to slide master tab here and i'll close master view so with this you can see our first slide uh, or the first layout is ready and let me just type in introduction introduction 
and you can type in your text your text goes here and one thing that you are not able to see is the dates the footer and this so how 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 you can do that so you can come to insert tab and here you have called slide number and date and time so you can just click it and we need date and time and based upon your requirement you can change the format of time or date you want i'm going as of now by default and if you want a fixed date you can go with that also i want slide number also and i want a footer also so let's say it's a youtube tutorial okay so i'll just click apply to all and with this you can see you have your uh, the slide number is 2 and you have a footer here so let's say if you are if you are going to some other presentation and you want to keep the same content you can just simply come to the uh, slide number option and you can just change it to say tutorial title 2 and you can just click apply to all and you can see your title is changed now let's say tomorrow you realize that you don't want this in black color okay so let's take a new slide and you will notice that it is following the same pattern that we created so you want to change anything what you can do is just click simply to view slide master and you can change it to bold and you can in fact change the color also so again you can close the master view and you can see the changes are applied to all the slides so that's cool isn't it let me know in the comment box what you think about this so now let's create another layout okay so this is one layout which has only one text box so now i'm going to create the second layout so i'll again come to view option and uh, slide master and now what i'm going to do is just for ease i will duplicate the layout okay i will just duplicate the layout and let's say you want a image here so i'll just bring it to half or somewhere around half here so i want a text box to be this size and i want a image okay i want an image this side on the on the right hand side so there is option here called insert placeholder now what kind of placeholder you want you want any picture a picture placeholder or a chart or a table so let's say you want a picture placeholder so you will click here okay i'll just match it with the margins yeah so now we are ready with the second layout let's name it text with image image and rename it so let me just duplicate it again i'm creating another layout so i don't want any text box now in the third layout i want just pictures to be there so i'll reduce the size i will keep it like this let's say i want uh, three images okay and uh, i need a uh, some text over here describing the picture and i want it to be around uh, let's say every picture has its own caption let's reduce the size of this so select the three and come to home option and just change it to somewhere around 12 it looks fine 12 or 14 and i don't want any bold to be there and i want the text to be centered don't worry it's looking little awkward but uh, uh, when you come out of the slide master uh, that will be very nice and you change the font to arial and it's centered arial that looks fine and let's say you want six so i'll just copy it once again okay and come to slide master close master view and let's take a new slide so you, we are getting again the same layout but let's change the layout so layout and we are going to take the third layout actually we haven't we haven't given any name to this but let's take that and here we go we have a picture here so let's add any picture let me just quickly add couple of pictures so that i can show you how you can name and all okay and just you can name it so a b c oops yeah so uh, this is the way uh, you can you can do and if, in case you want to change any image you can just simply delete that and add a new picture of your choice so image grid let me just name it image grid so let me just show you the preview how it looks in the final view so you can see this is our introduction page i think this red color uh, rectangle on the bottom is too high uh, its height is more so let's just reduce it so slide master 
and let me just select this and reduce its height a little bit and the same three text boxes also i will bring them down and let's just close the master view and now preview it so here is the introduction slide and here is the image grid that you can see okay so i hope you like the tutorial and uh, please let me know in the comment box and uh, i will see you soon in the next tutorial uh, do let me know please uh, please let me know what you thought about this tutorial here on the channel thank you very much